everyone. Today I'm going to take you through how to create a simple SQL query activity in Marketing Cloud. The reason you may want to use a SQL query activity is if you want to join or manipulate or otherwise transform any of the data from your data extensions into another what we call a target data extension or table. Today we'll look at a simple inner join. I've got two data extensions built in Marketing Cloud. One is a customer loyalty data extension that has some birthday and loyalty number information. And then another is an audience data extension that's got some sort of demographic info like first name, last name, and email address. Here's the loyalty information. And if we look over here, they've each just got a few rows. Okay, so what we're going to do is join these two data extensions together on the common field, which happens to be email address. Um, as we can see, we don't have data populated for every single record in this data extension, but we want to return all the data extensions, all the records that match on email address regardless. So the first thing we're going to do in order to join these together is create a master uh, target data extension to hold the joined records. Um, you can't build a SQL query activity in Marketing Cloud without first having a place to pour the results into. So I've gone ahead and created a master data extension, target, which combines all the fields from those two data extensions together. And of course, it has the common email address field. Right now, we don't have any records in here, though. So in order to create a SQL query activity, we're going to navigate to Automation Studio which hides under Journey Builder. Once this loads, you can click the Activities tab and Create Activity. Here you'll see some different options available to you. Um, we're going to talk about all of these in more detail. Today we'll focus just on the SQL Query Activity. First thing you want to do is name your query. Um, all right, now we have the query editor. Here's where we type our select statement in our SQL query text. Um, and then there's a few tools we can use to validate our syntax and check that we are bringing in all the fields we want to have. And I'll guide you through this wizard. So if we want to select fields, we need to specify exactly which fields we want to bring from each data extension. I'll show you a quick trick, which is to find your data extension folder and your specific data extension here. And if you double click on any of the data extensions you want to join, you'll see that the fields appear. Right? So if we want to bring fields from multiple data extensions like we do, you don't have to manually type those in. But you do need to follow SQL practices. So what we could do type in all our fields, um, we want to specify which table or which data extension each field is coming from to resolve any ambiguity. Um, that's going to get flagged by our syntax checker. So the type of join we're going to do is an inner join. You don't necessarily have to specify inner. Marketing Cloud knows if you just put join in, you're going to return a result set that looks like this where only the matched rows are going to be output. Syntax is looking good, so we can go to the next step in the wizard. Here we need to do two things. We need to first specify that master data extension or that target where we're putting the result into. And then we need to specify the data action, whether we're overwriting each time this query runs or we're simply updating or appending records on. Simplest is going to be overwrite because we have less considerations by way of primary key. Um, so I'm going to select overwrite to show you. And that means every time you run the query, a new set of data will populate depending on what's in your source tables. I'm going to click finish. And there it is. And now I'm going to click run by using this drop down in the far right corner. Run once. Depending on how much data you've got in your uh, query activity, sorry, how much data you've got in your data extensions, is going to determine how long it takes for this query to run. But this is the really fast, kind of quick and dirty way to do it. 
I think we've left enough time to check whether our master data extension contains any results. Let's go and see. And there we go. Looking at our final data extension, we've got our email addresses that matched. Now we have the loyalty number and also the first and last name and date of birth information all consolidated together in one aggregate master data extension. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more Marketing Cloud basics and advanced tips and techniques.